After eight years after a child lost her life in a tragedy at Smithville Lake, her family is on a mission to stop it from happening again. Only on 41 Action News, reporter Tom Dempsey spoke to the girl's family about their efforts to save lives. This one here is Hannah. Seeing this ornament with their granddaughter's name brings back painful memories for Chris and Annetta Geralt. I mean, there was over, over 300 people that attended her funeral. She touched a lot of lives. Smithville Lake, July 2010, a summer day that turned tragic when seven-year-old Hannah Geralt drowned while swimming with a family friend. They should have never had her in the water without a life jacket. Eight years after the tragedy, Hannah's grandparents still keep plenty of pictures and other items of her around their home. But one special way of honoring her in particular has them still waiting. After Hannah's death, her grandparents reached out to state leaders, hoping to see change. We've met with each and every one of them and talked to them. We've been to Jeff City twice. Change coming in the form of Hannah's Law, a proposed bill requiring children 12 and under to wear a life jacket when swimming in deep water with no lifeguard present. I first learned about the issue when Chris reached out. State Senator Lauren Arthur pre-filed the bill for next year's session after seeing it get lost in the legislative shuffle multiple times in recent years. It's common sense, it's non-controversial, but I've been surprised that it hasn't gotten very far in the process. A tragedy eight years ago, with a family now hoping to prevent something similar from happening again. She could have made a big change in this world, but now the only change that she might make is if we get this law passed. Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News. The Missouri Legislature begins its work on January 9th in Jefferson City.